So this vlog is definitely more of an intimate one for me and I suppose I feel a little bit guilty that, you know, I really try and be more transparent and honest and, and authentic in what I post online and I feel like I could do better. So this one actually started when a very, very dear friend of mine, probably the oldest friend that I have, not in age, in terms of like friendship, reached out to me about her struggles with body image. And, you know, I don't have the message specifically on hand and it's also private, but the message was along the lines of, you know, I want to feel more confident, I'm really struggling and I look at you and I, you always look so beautiful and confident and kind of how do you do it? And I just remember getting this message and thinking, I struggle with my body image and what am I projecting if I'm not being transparent about that? I mean, I do think that I get better and I become more confident as I get older and I work out ways on how to love myself, but in no way or shape or form am I that person that is just always confident. The person that she was describing me to be wasn't who I felt that I am. And that's not a bad thing. I'm happy to admit and say that I don't always get it right and I do struggle because I feel very normal for that. When I look around me, everyone struggles. You know, even over the years when I've had these friends that I've looked at and gone, oh wow, they just look so beautiful and their bodies are amazing and they must just not have a worry in the world. At some point, they start opening up to me about their own body image battles and some of the things that they've gone through and they still struggle with. And you realize that everybody has these thoughts at some point in their life. Some people have them more than others. And I wanted to be trans more transparent about my own journey with body image. So I was always that kid at school that was just a little bit chubbier. You know, growing up, it was probably grade, I'm gonna say maybe grade five or grade six. I remember being taller when I was younger and that was kind of always made you feel a bit out of place. Like you were the kid that was in the back of the photos and in the middle because you were tall and you didn't sit in the front row. And then it was little things like becoming more conscious of my, how my body looked in um, dance costumes. You know, I wasn't a bean pole and dance costumes are always like really tight lycra. <laughs> not always the most flattering thing to be wearing. So becoming that, you know, having that awareness that my body was a little bit different from a lot of the other kids that I was at school with. I also developed a lot earlier than a lot of other kids. I think I was probably, I was actually in grade six, I remember getting like this crop top. It was not like a bra, but it was like a crop top with a little underlie. And then grade seven, I had, you know, boobs. So I was about 13, 12, 13. Um, I got my period earlier, I wouldn't say I was like the first. So my body did change a lot and I remember feeling self-conscious. I remember doing swimming at school and wanting to wear shorts and just being really conscious of how I looked. And there's a part of me that looks back at that and really hopes that the kids growing up today and this next generation of women don't have a lot of the guilt and shame about their bodies that we had. You know, we didn't have a lot of positive body imagery in the media and magazines and on social media and things like that we really well i really grew up in the era where there was like one particular body type that was awarded as beautiful and that was thin there wasn't a lot about curves and hips and boobs and things like that so there was a certain way that i looked at my body that i now look back and think oh how terrible that i had to feel that way as far and as long as i remember i've always wanted to lose weight and I think for most women, that's been a goal somewhere in their life, or they've tried to keep their weight down. And that's another thing that really infuriates me because thin is not always healthy. And I'm learning that in life. You know, I've had different injuries in my body. I've got a problem with my hips. And for me, it's healthy and strong. And I have to keep training to support all my muscles in the right way and things like that. I want to be energetic. You know, I want to be able to wake up in the morning and not have things that hurt and be able to go on a nice long walk and not feel puffed. I don't train to reduce my weight, but sometimes I feel like I slip back into that mode because I think as women especially, we've always been awarded for being thinner, for losing weight. Only recently on my social media, I posted a photo and 
you know, you have a look at all the comments and this person kind of commented and said something like, oh, Dr. Nikki, you're looking amazing and um, you look a lot thinner. And as much as everyone loves a compliment, at the same time, I was like, that shouldn't be a factor in the mix. I shouldn't be awarded for how my weight has fluctuated. And a big part of this story that I've never really spoken about is that I actually live with a chronic health condition called Crohn's disease. Um, so it's an autoimmune disease. My body has a lot of inflammation and it all attacks my gut area. So I have gone from um, times in my life where I've been so sick that I can't eat, I can't hold any food in my body, and you've been able to see all my bones. And I'd have to suck on like those, um, those those meal replacement shakes because I couldn't actually eat food. I've gone to places with my body where I've been pumped full of steroids and I've just kind of exploded and I remember being 19 and going through a heavy dose of steroids because I was so sick and I didn't even look at myself in the mirror when I got changed because I was so ashamed of my body. Also being young, when I would get sick and I would lose weight, um, you know, it's not like it's one of those illnesses where, you know, you've got like a bandage on your arm or something like that. So people would often say, oh, you look amazing. Or, you've, you've lost so much weight. And that's that, uh, that reward again of being thin. And on the inside, I was so sick. I couldn't even get through a day without being in pain or without sleeping.